to hit OK. I did that by going to my travel. So now my travel on pitch is 85 at negative pitch and it's 100 at positive pitch. So we'll do a flight video. I'll show you if that affected anything. Probably made it better because I had a lot of negative pitch. And again, it's adjustable. So, you know, these gyros are only going to get better as they get updated too. And um, I think it's working great. So now you check your tail rotor. Here's left, right, left, right, left right left right is inward left is outward um, again straight rotor we're we're also looking for um, what do we do when we set up a helicopter well you can see here that the, the servo horns are for the most part straight let me get the center stick here so the servo horn we're looking for 90 degrees and even though the servos are in different places the servo horns are still 90 degrees. Um, <coughs> basically, you've got these follower arms too. They're 90 degrees. Um, this servo horn is 90 degrees. Um, yes, we have linkage here, but there's a servo horn there and it's 90 degrees. That swash plate is level. Your, your blades are basically level at the same time. So let's take this gauge off so it doesn't burn up. Um, basically the the blades are level right now we're at center stick um they're flat and when you add pitch they push downward which makes the helicopter come upward you should know this by now if you're flying a helicopter um the tail rotor too once it goes right then it's gonna it's gonna push that tail rotor over basically with the pitch and the the tail rotor should should move freely and you should get input from that gyro um if everything is working smoothly so, um, someone was asking me about, um, you know, the 360. Let's go ahead and go into that model. Oh, yeah, Carl Strauss. Everybody knows me, knows that I like to drink beer when I build. Um, relaxes me. And people want to pay me, and I say, no, just get me a beer. That's all I need. So, let's get the 330 out of the way. We went through that one. Put it down here and get it out of the way. Um, 360. Okay, everybody. So let's let's turn this 360 on. I'm gonna go ahead and cross the blades, sort of wacky, even though they're crossed like we wanted to see them. If there's getting any input, where's the tail gonna set, everybody? Let's go to model adjustment back here. Let's get out of this model together. I have timer to turn reset. my timer off. Okay. So, what model is that? That is the 360. I've got a ton in here. How to use this radio. We have to go through and find our model here. You push and hold on the iX12 and then it brings up your model list and this would be a real life time of how it take long it takes to switch a model so here we go I've got approximately 150 models in there so it does have to load up some stuff high. so it tells you my throttle is high this is the new update um, bigger timer now on the iX12 so we're gonna go ahead and plug the battery in and watch that tail Oh, on my 360 videos, 363S, this is a very smooth tail here. Um, you can see the input, it's it's getting. Um, but when I turn it on, there it is again. You've got your right pitch in that tail. Um, when I push the stick over, you've got just enough to, to where it, it, it it's just at the end there. And when I push it back, it's just to the end there. And um, that's what you want. You want full throw. This one here too has got the AR636 gyro on it and it actually came with a metal servo horn so that's where I got my idea of the longer servo horn. It's not a big deal. You're just giving it more mechanical advantage basically everybody. So as you can see my servo is moving with compensation and this this rod here is as straight as it's going to be to give it um, an easy 
easy, easy path. And again, the we're gonna go to center stick here on the radio. I'm in hold mode so the helicopter doesn't take off. And you're looking at the servo horn to be straight, the swash plate to be level and straight. No matter how you look at it, it's level and straight. You've got this blade, you know, straight basically, and that's that's how you want it. Flat anyway, the, the blade at center stick. Um, this one's had a pitch gauge on it too. And um, let's go ahead and do that together. So here you go. It's about 15 years old, so it's having a hard time this year. Okay, so this one, here's full pitch. We're at 14 degrees, just like I like. And negative, we're at, ah, there's 13, 13 too. I'm also sideways right now, and the, the table's jittering. Let's see, that's my foot. So there's 13, one, and uh, yeah, about 13.5. <clears throat> it's pretty good. It's close enough. Um, this one has big long blades on it, so you can play with that. Um, what do I do to get my 360 there? Well, here's model adjustment. I go to, this is an AR636 gyro. Um, you're basically, you can adjust things in the normal menu on your radio. I don't, ever, I've never gone into the 636. It's, it's all stock. I think it flies great. But here's my pitch menu. And you will see that I have 108 um, each way, um, up and down, in order to get that um, to get that uh, full travel that I want. And um, basically, take this gauge off so the sensors quit feeling it. Um, you're looking for for you know as much travel as you can. You want those uh, those these follower arms to be level. Um, if you crash this helicopter, basically you're going to end up pulling out this bolt down here where my wire's rubbing and shouldn't be. There's a bolt right there, and you're going to want to pull that one out and take these links off. They just pop off real easy. See that? I just did it with my finger. And you, you pop these guys off and then and then pull the assembly out. I normally just leave my belt on right there. Sometimes you can loosen these two bolts right here. You can loosen these two guys and just let the let the boom come in. Pull the pull the main shaft out. Um, when the when the main shaft is out, now you're now you're holding the unit. Turn this off. Now you're now you're holding the the the, the main shaft and everything in your hand. You can now remove the blades. And then you take two bolts out right here, one here and one here, and pull the pull the grips off, and then and then change out the spindle. There's a spindle that runs through two pieces of rubber grommets in here, and it's real easy just to to change out. If you crash, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna whack your blades, and it's gonna bend that spindle. So the spindle's cheap. It's like nine dollars, and you get a couple of them in the bag. Um, change the spindle, change the screws, uh, put Loctite on your screws. Don't get it on the bearings in there and just put them back in. You don't need to do any kind of grease or anything. It's all done at the factory. Um, basically, then, then then change out your main shaft. There's a bolt here and that bolt that we already took out. And also these cinch bolts, if you just loosen the two millimeter bolts right here, actually they're 1.5, 1.5 millimeter bolts and just unscrew them. Um, They'll, they'll just get them loose basically then that it's clamped on essentially and you can pull this off so change out your main shaft um in a in a crash you're probably going to bend your boom maybe um make sure the boom is straight if you do have to change out your boom you're going to have to string your tail your uh tail belt through there and we want to make sure that the tail rotor always rotates to the uh as clock um counterclockwise basically on your tail rotor here but your main blade is going clockwise so why does it do that well it's counter rotating because of torque so um as long as you pay attention to that and your blades are on correctly you got a an airfoil here this blade is rotating this way and you need that that blade to be going the right direction i've done it before the tail doesn't work properly if your blades are on backwards 
or if it's spinning the wrong direction. So don't do that. Um, again, so with this helicopter off right now, that you're looking for this servo horn basically to be 90 degrees. And if it's not, it's, it could be up here or it could be over here. You can adjust it by, you can adjust that pitch on your tail by moving this, this servo mount forward and aft. And you could loosen the screws if you have to and then tighten them down. I normally do it, um, you know, I turn the helicopter on and I take a look at it. And then if it's not good, I, I just unplug it and I move it as much as I need to. And then I plug it back in again and I look for it. So just look for the amount that I just showed you in the video. It's pretty easy. That's that's all there is to it. Um, 480 sitting here. Um, again, you got level servo horns. You know, when this thing is sitting here, when it's going to be on, um, the, the servos are strong. So swashplate level, follower arms level. Blades are level. When I add pitch, I got 14 degrees pitch. When I subtract pitch, I got 14 degrees pitch. Um, when I turn this on, my tail rotor is basically set with a little bit of um, of, uh, of right pitch in it. Um, it's this one's got a micro beast in it, and um, they're very easy to set up. But every single thing that I set up, I look for a mechanical setup first. So that's what you need to do. <clears throat> don't you know everybody thinks that you could just oh it, it's gonna be so great I, I don't have to know anything I can just fly well I'm, I'm sorry you have to know how these things work before you can fly them and I'm not the greatest pilot but I do understand how the helicopter works and I'm able to put myself in those positions and realize where I'm at so um, that's really all there is to it this video is long enough any more information i don't know you guys can can comment below subscribe to my channel um i'll try to give you as much information as possible but that's really how easy it is oh and another man's question was well what do i do if there's if i have to replace a servo well first of all buy the same servos that we're using with this 636 which are these off the top of my head guys i can't remember what they are and i don't have my glasses on so they're 3040s, I think, or something like that. 3050s. And whatever these are, do the same servo. And I almost guarantee that if you plug your servo in, don't move the helicopter, plug in the, 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 the battery, um, go to center stick, make sure that you're at center stick in hold mode, and then put this servo horn on, you're going to be so close that you won't have to get into the sub trim menu. So I've never been in the sub trim menu. Um, it does tell you how to do that in your manual, but I'm not going to get into that because I don't need to. And if you use the Spectrum servos, they're really so much the same that I don't think you're going to have an issue using the same servo horn and just changing out the servo or changing the gear set out. Um, it only fits one way anyway. So generally I just buy a new servo. The servos are $13 whatever they are, $20, and, uh, you know, for a helicopter, that's really cheap, and, um, you know, this is a, this is a techie hobby, it's scientific, um, you don't want to crash, if you do, you're going to have to do some things, and that's just the way it is, so, it will, it, it will end up brand new, um, I gotta say, crashing a wood airplane isn't good, but if you do crash a helicopter, then you can replace everything as pieces, like the swash plate, the grips, the blades, um, the frame, um, you know, and, you know, look at it while you're taking it apart. Don't just take it apart. Take pictures with your cool cell phone or something or do a video like I'm doing while you're taking it apart so you can go back and look at what you did. It's, it's, you know, use ingenuity. We're all, you know, humans here. And, um, I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm special, but most of the time it's just real easy stuff and I don't get it while why some people have a hard time so <laughs> just ask questions if you have to but you know I, I learned all this in the 15 years I've been into this hobby and 20 maybe with the helicopters and uh, yeah so anyway this is the co show having Carl Strauss the Aurora Hoppy Alice I like those Sierra Nevadas too green label get some anyway I hope everybody's having a good holiday and um, keep flying blade helicopters or any brand helicopter for that fact. But 
I do like Blade because they do get us in the door and they are a very good helicopter. Don't let anyone tell you that they're not any good because I fly the crap out of them and they're awesome helicopters. So I'd like to see them uh, show me how to do some things if they think it's a if it's a not a good helicopter. <laughs> anyway, hope everybody's having a good time. See you later. Bye bye.